the Marvel suffered a horrifying and completely, completely amusing death at the box office. The MCU project did not have any legs to stand on. It bottomed out. I saw the movie that I reviewed for it. I wasn't surprised it was going to end up where it ended up. There was really nothing to, to, to hold that up at all. The movie was terribly done. You could tell that they just cut and paste a whole bunch of crap together. So let's take a look at the numbers and see where the Marvels is. Now, on, on, let me make something clear. We look at it here, worldwide box office, we're seeing it at 199 million. Now, a few days ago, I had checked it and it was past 200 million. So, it's possible this may be some kind of error or it's possible that you know, the numbers have been adjusted based on accurate data because sometimes they make projections based on what is or what they really have got. But when, when the information gets clarified, then you get to find out, oh wait, this wasn't actually the case. It was actually this that had happened and that's how it ends up in that whole predicament. So right now it's a 199 million worldwide hasn't crossed the 200 million market but it's possible like i said it could be an error and, and they may adjust it okay but domestic box office 84 million international box office 115 million so that's not going to cross 100 million in the domestic box office you go down you look at the you look at the absolute declining horrificness of it and it's only in 160 theaters in the united states right now the, 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 that was up to um, december 29th and most likely it's gone from from cinemas by now understand me look at it how it's just bottomed out completely and utterly it's not even making anything close to what it was making before it's now down to like as of january 4th like four four thousand one hundred i mean it's it, it's pretty it's, it's pretty much gone that's, that's the best way to put it the marvels is officially dead and done that's it disney embarrassed themselves spectacularly with this one and this is what they have to show for it but remember how i mentioned that whole cut and paste thing that they did and you could see it in the movie well we've gotten some information coming out in regards to a scene that was cut from the movie that kind of portrays captain marvel as a pedophile yeah, it's pretty screwed up, but let's get into it. Eh? This is from Cosmic Book News. Brie Larson's Captain Marvel, a pedophile, reveals the Marvel's deleted scene. Valkyrie isn't surprised to learn that Captain Marvel could be married to a girl. Well, of course not. Another deleted scene from the Marvel's is released, which teases that Brie Larson's Cap Carol Danvers could be married to Imam Villani's Miss Marvel, who is a teenager in the movie. Yeah. The, the deleted scene features Imam Villani as Kamala Khan, all googly-eyed on board Captain Marvel's ship, where an incoming call happens to be from Tessa Thompson's Valkyrie, who thinks Kamala is married to Carol Danvers and makes a sex toy dildo comment. This is the deleted scene here. Miss Marvel speaking. How can you're Valkyrie? Tis I. Um, wait, Mrs. Marvel. She got married again, and no invite again. No. 
I miss Marvel, miss. That's, we're not married, that would be. I'm single. Okay. Five seconds to the jump point. Oh, you might want to triple. I mean, trip in. Oh. Connection failed. <sighs> Okay, so yeah, that was pretty cringe and creepy. The best way to describe that there's no other back and forth in regards to that whatsoever. But it goes up with the army, um, you know, Valkyrie and the oh, captain, my captain. And then she's all, oh, you're not my captain. And then Kamala can reveal that she's Miss Marvel. And then, um, you know, Marvel, Valkyrie assume they are married first to Kamala as Mrs. And she's all, oh, wait. She got married again and no invite again. Kamala responds, no, I'm Ms. Marvel. Miss, that's, we're not married. That would be, I'm single. And then she tells her the whole, um, you know, strap on. I mean, strap in. Now, when it comes to Valkyrie, why this doesn't surprise me? With Thor, Love and Thunder, the build of, the build of that movie, you heard nothing about it. All you were hearing about was that Valkyrie is King Valkyrie and she's going to be looking for her queen. And, oh, and then it was, oh, oh Tessa Thompson is um, bisexual and, they, and they, 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 they have to actually push that in the movie. So now you get to the, this year and, and they're all, oh, Captain, my Captain and, and, I'm, and I'm Miss, uh, Miss, Mrs. Marvel or Miss Marvel, all this stuff and all of this. And the other, she's like, um, and, and then Kamala Khan is, oh, um, no, no. I miss Marvel, miss, that's, we're not married, that would mean, I'm single. And she goes on. And then the whole strap on, I mean strap in. Now, okay, they cut it from the movie, but the fact that somebody actually sat down, wrote this, directed it, and try to actually put this in the movie tells you what's going on. Because the only thing these people in Hollywood are obsessed with nowadays is sexuality. It's freaking creepy. You also look at the fact that Kamala Khan is supposed to be 16 years old. And, and the girl playing her, Iman, Iman Valani, is not, is no, no, she's, she's not, not an adult either. She's a literal child. And you're talking about... Um, Captain Marvel being married to this child and you're making comments about strap on. Or oh, I mean strap in. You clearly know what you're doing there. You're trying to paint Captain Marvel as some kind of creepy pedophile roaming the galaxy picking up children. It's, it, it's disturbing. It's very, very disturbing. Really, really disturbing. Uh, what I mention is that Valkyrie, played by the 40-year-old Thompson, isn't surprised by the thought that 34-year-old Brie Larson's Carol Danvers could be married to a girl. No, of course not. Of course not. There was even this deleted scene from it that, 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 that actually, um, you know, looked up, looked to say that, you know, um, Valkyrie and, um, and Carol Danvers had hooked up in the past. They would do that. So, so you know what? Like I say, you know what? You know exactly what one is they're pushing. So that obviously implies Captain Marvel is either a lesbian or bisexual in the MCU. Or since Miss Marvel is 16 years old, even a pedophile. Yeah, because that's not wrong at all. Also, what mention is the Marvel writers. Director Nia Da Costa, Megan McDonald, and, and Elisa Karasik intentionally wrote the scene that way and came up with the thinking that since both Carol and Kamala share the same last superhero name, they could be married. Pretty sick and twisted stuff. Yeah, like I say, somebody actually wrote that scene and put it in there with the, with the express intent of trying to push it. You know, Captain Marvel is a pedophile. That makes perfect sense to them. This is, this is how these people operate. It's so in their mind that everything that they do, it just, it just bleeds into. Uh, it has also been said there were plans to have Valkyrie and Captain Marvel really um, reveal they were a couple, but it's claimed Disney put the kibosh on that. Yes, but, you know, the whole... Um, 
I don't think that's perfectly fine. Yeah, that's that doesn't look creepy and sick at all. So yeah, this is what they wanted to, to do. They wanted to have this grown woman be married to this child and then play it off like, you know, oh, um, it's perfectly fine. While Valkyrie makes talks, make jokes about strap on. God, and you wonder, you all really and truly wonder the creepy hero version. You all really wonder why your movie bottomed out like this. This is what, this is the kind of creepiness that you're pushing. You understand me? She can't just be a fan girl and admire her. No, no, you have to slip in the possibility that they may be in some kind of, that they may have been married or something like that because, you know, you know. To open the door to something possibly after this is how they operate. So yeah, the MCU, or should I say the MCU tried to turn Captain Marvel into a pedophile. Believe what you will on that one. I'm just pointing out what it is they were try to do by opinion. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. You have a different opinion. I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, then hit that thumbs up. So Subscribe if you haven't already, ring the notification bell to be notified every time I go to a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.